All right, so let's go ahead and switch this out of, put this back into solid mode. Okay, it's still an edit. So let's hit Alt H and let's unhide that head of that ax. Let's select anywhere on the handle, Control L, and we'll hide that. All right, so now let's select, let's go ahead and do a new material here. Hit your plus button. And let's go ahead and do new. And we'll name this one X head. Okay. Now you're going to want this to be a glossy material. One thing I do want to say here is um, I noticed in, when I was playing with this earlier, I think we've made this a little too sharp of an angle here. So let's go ahead and make sure we select where we can select the behind vertices. Let's deselect everything. Let's hit B and left click and let's select this whole ring here. We'll go into seven. Okay, now we're going to scale this on the Y axis. And I think if we do something like that, that'll be a lot better. I noticed, I noticed that looks a lot better. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to start making some seams here and making a, um, um, where we can cut this out. So let's go ahead and change this into a, a UV image editor. Let's go ahead and alt click here and do a control E mark seam. And let's do an alt click here, control E and mark seam. Now we want to select down the front here. Let's turn off our where we see through. So let's do an alt click there and control E mark seam. So let's do the same on the bottom here. Alt click here, control E mark seam. Alt click, control E mark seam. All right, so this is coming along pretty good here. Getting most of it. We'll do an alt click here. Control E, mark scene. I'll click here. Control E, mark scene. Let's just let's actually turn this to an edge select and just select this edge right here. Control E, mark seam. Let's go on the bottom. Control E, mark seam. All right, I think that should do it. And if we cut this now, it should give us a pretty flat surface. So let's go ahead and hit um, A, select everything, deselect everything, then to select everything. And go U, unwrap. There we go. So yeah, everything's pretty good there. Uh, one thing we do want to have is we want to have this control L and we want to change it, rotate it 90 degrees. Doesn't matter which way. Grab. And the reason we're doing this is, is if I go into, if I open our new file here, I want to open this Metal Bear 084. We want to open that image. Okay, so what will happen is we'll use this as our bump map. All right, let's go ahead and change this to a um, node editor. So we got our node editor again here. Let's change over here because it's easier to delete and put another one. Let's go ahead and just change that to a glossy, glossy node. All right, let's hit this and let's go into render mode. Okay, so we now we want to do, um, I'm sorry, so what we want to do is you want to um, hit Z a couple times, and we want to assign this material. So now if we go into rendered mode, there we go. We got our axe head. Now you notice it's very clean and just a very, very shiny, reflective material. Well, we want to change that. We want to do a little... A little work with that here. Okay, so first let's 
let's take down the color of it a little bit a little bit darker material maybe even a little bit darker than that okay still just highly reflective though right now so we'll go ahead and do a shift a and we're going to we're going to do a uh, let's do a texture coordinate first and then we're going to do a shift a and we're going to do a a shader i'm sorry we're going to do a, a texture image texture and we're going to go ahead and open that texture metal bear 04 084 and we're going to take this color into the displacement there we go And we'll change this to a non-color data. And let's take the roughness up a little bit. Not that much. Let's, let's maybe try point 0.1. And let's take this color up a little bit. I don't think we want it that dark. the front view again okay now we're seeing these marks on here and it seems like they're for one thing they're too deep and they're too large uh, too too big so let's go ahead let's plug this into here this vector if it does anything first okay all right so two things we want to do here oh and another thing is because the way this is the white is popping out instead of going in so we shift A and we want to do a uh, color invert. And that'll make it go the way we want to. The other thing we want to do is a shift A. And we're wanting to do a converter, another math converter. You need to put it here or here. It does not matter. And if I do multiply, okay. Another thing we want to do here is, like I said, these are too spaced out, too too far apart, and we want to do an input texture coordinate. Oh, I'm sorry, no. Shift A. Sometimes you'll notice you you'll try some different ones here, and you almost forget which ones are which. Okay, we want a vector mapping. Let's put that one there. All right. So now what we want to do is over here where the scale is. Let's over here where the scale is. We want to make this much smaller scale. Or much larger scale, I should say. So let's go to 5, tab, 5, tab, 5. Enter. There we go. Now you notice that looks a lot better there. But one problem we have here is I believe our... I believe our... Uh, our bump map is still too strong. So let's change that to a 0.2. And one thing we can do here, just to kind of see what's going on, um, tab in, let's select our lamp. Let's go ahead and make it a sun lamp. Use the nodes. Let's boost that up about five. Go into seven. And we'll grab this, rotate it around like this. And three, and we'll grab that and we'll bring that up. And then rotate a little bit more. I'll grab it down. Okay. So what we'll do is it's just to get an idea of what's going on here. We'll go ahead and do a shift A. We'll add a mesh. We'll add a monkey. And seven. We'll rotate it 
all the way around. Grab, let's pull it out here. Grab, so we can get some reflection in here, see what's going on. And let's give this monkey a basic material, a diffuse a bit. Let's make it something like an orange, very bright. Okay, let's get back to our axe handle, our axe head here, and we're on axe head. And let's go back into rendered mode. There we go. You can see a little bit better what's going on. It still seems like our bump map's a little too much. Okay, let's grab move the monkey back a little bit. And Our axe handle is way too. So maybe let's put a 0 0.05. There we go. And a lot of experimentation on this. So let's say 0. 0. Let's go 0. See what it looks like. Okay, so there's 0. So we want a roughness maybe at. 0 0.01 a little bit higher Let's see what point 0.1 looks like it's getting kind of there still 0 0.05 maybe no oh, I like that that's pretty good there I like that axe handle that looks pretty I feel that our X is a little bit, I think that's a pretty good, I think it's pretty good there. Maybe we'll make our color, our color a little darker. You know, let's give it a little bit of a bluish tint, just like a blue steel. And lighten it up a little bit. You could play with this all day just doing different different looks and different I tell you, I, I, I think I like that there I think I like that axe handle there now one thing I've noticed here there's this little dot here and let's see if we can get rid of this so let's go into uh, edit mode here I'm oh, sorry, let's go back into solid mode. Let's tab into edit mode. Let's go ahead and get rid of the monkey here. Let's tab back out, go into this, and we'll just delete this monkey. Hit X and then delete it. And we'll select this again and we'll say uh, tab back into edit mode. We'll do an Alt H and we'll Figure out why this is like this. You can also, if you do Control L, hmm. oh, so this top is a little bit different here. Okay. All right, so what we'll have to do is we'll have to assign that to the handle. So you click this, and let's go ahead and hit Assign. And now it should be good to go. There we go. And there we go. And that should do good on our axe here for this part of it. All right, so now remember we want to go up into File. And that's done. We'll go up into File. And we want to save as and remember we have this here this is hatchet 2 all we have to do is down here anywhere and just on the numpad hit the plus sign and you'll have hatchet 3 so let's go ahead and save that blender file and that's it so we'll we'll be doing some more uh, assets in the scene uh, and 
Next, we'll be moving on how to render, and uh, so check that out.